Hi, I'm Mark McPherson. I'm here with a quick overview of what we'll cover in my one day intensive program, how to speak in public and how to present. How to present so you inform, you influence and you inspire. Now I think the place to start of course is with content. Now most people have some material, uh, information, uh, some sort of content that they have to deliver or wanted to, to deliver. But the issue is we need to develop it further. Quite often it's quite narrow in its focus and the way in which it is organised. So the very first thing is to make sure that our information, our policies, whatever it happens to be, is developed in a way that we have, uh, for example, we have facts and figures, uh, we have research, uh, we have case studies, we have anecdotes, we have stories to support our material. We also uh, might want to have quotes. Uh, sometimes quotes are absolutely powerful and they don't always have to be by some incredibly well-known celebrity. They've got to be chosen because they are meaningful and relevant and useful to the presentation. We also might want to have uh, models and diagrams. If we're going to produce a, a graph, should it be one of these sorts of graphs or could it be presented in some other way? Should it be presented that we've got the, the past, the present and the future, for example? If we're going to have a table, just exactly how should that table be presented? So there's lots of things that we, we need to do just on our basic content before we move on to other things. And one of the other things we need to move on to, of course, is structure. We have to start somewhere, there's no doubt about that. We have to have a, a middle bit and we have to have an end. Now, someone said to me a while ago, oh, I should always start a presentation like this. Well, it's not actually true. There's lots of ways to start a presentation and it depends on many things. It depends, for example, on uh, who the audience is, what the presentation is about, uh, you, uh, why you have been asked or told to present this information and of course the actual information itself. So we have to start somewhere and I'll give you some techniques that you can take away and use to choose, mix and match when you need to. Now this middle bit is the structure. Now you have your models and diagrams and information, stats and whatever else in there but too often it's just delivered as a, as a clump. Well, these need to develop, be developed so that they are delivered in chunks and they make points. And each point comes to some sort of overarching theme, concept, takeaway message, if you like. They're not just points for the sake of it in this structure. And of course, how do you end? There are lots of ways to end. And I'll give you a technique and some information about how you can end. And you can choose the bits out of that that will fit you on on the day and whatever pr presentation you're giving at the time. We also need to look at what I call the verbal co component or verbal code of what we're delivering. The English language is rich. It's got lots and lots of ways that you can, you can say things. So what sort of taglines will you use? What embedded commands, etc., will you use? How will you say your point in a number of different ways? So that perhaps it's uh, fit for a 10 year old, but it's also fit for a 70 year old. That it's fit for someone who doesn't know really much about your topic to someone who's very familiar with it, perhaps an academic or whatever it happens to be. We need to look at the vocal code, which is everything about whether you speak like this or whether you speak like this. And at what stage and what point you're trying to make would the different voices be appropriate. How quickly you speak, how slowly you speak, how loudly you speak, how softly you speak. When is it important to race ahead and when is it important to be more deliberate and spell out exactly what you're trying to say? On top of that, we also have what I call a visual or nonverbal component. It's the way you look and it's what you do when you're presenting. And there's lots of techniques, about, well, let's say there's 10 techniques in particular that I will be showing you and you will be, be practicing. And they include uh, things like congruency, synchronization, uh, association, disassociation, uh, how to re refer and direct people to a particular object, uh, PowerPoint slide or whatever it happens to be, and how do you get them back so they're concentrating at you. And also how to assign positives and negatives to things and, and how to be careful that we don't do it when we don't want to do it. We'll also practice. There's lots of practice to be done, but I will not be making anybody get up and practice in front of other people if they don't want to. But there will be lots of opportunities to practice throughout the day and get some positive, helpful feedback. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, 
please look after yourselves, look, look after your friends and family, and I do hope to chat to you soon. If you want to get in contact, just go to the contact page of my website, for example. There's lots of ways of getting in contact with me there, and I hope to chat to you soon. All the very best.